in welding, they encourage women to join. It was a 12-week program. There was lots of one-on-one -on -one time. We advanced really quickly through the program. MCAM, the Michigan Coalition for Advanced Manufacturing program, was designed to help people get ready to work in Michigan's advanced manufacturing sector. Developed by eight colleges with a grant from the U.S. Department of Labor, MCAM represented a major investment in technology and training, and a new approach to student support. Nearly 4,000 students enrolled in MCAM, 13% of them women. America's manufacturing workforce is still overwhelmingly male. The same is true in Michigan, and the industry continues to see worker shortages. Attracting more women to manufacturing could help solve this problem. And many of the jobs pay well and offer advancement a real chance to build a career. For many women students, MCAM was a first of its kind opportunity. We keep hearing about a skills gap, and yet in this particular program, we served over 500 women through the MCAM training programs. That's significant. Women who enrolled in the MCAM program were older on average than their male counterparts and had more diverse backgrounds. They also had more formal education than men, but tended to have gaps in their work histories from time spent raising families. For many women students, transitioning to a new career and one in manufacturing was a challenge. A lot of women don't have role models in the advanced manufacturing industry, so they have nobody to look to for advice. So this program gave women an opportunity to participate in a training program and to receive the support that they needed to complete that training program, and it just opened up their eyes to a whole host of opportunities in advanced manufacturing. Once enrolled in training, women students performed well and felt supported by male students and faculty. Those new to manufacturing worried about the shift from classroom to the workplace, but made use of career and counseling services to help them transition. We need to do a better job of marketing this industry and these occupations to women. They feel that it is a very male-dominated environment, and therefore they have some reticence about whether it's a good fit for them. We also need to do a better job with our younger women, our women coming up through our middle schools and our high schools, to encourage them to pursue these types of training programs. The big takeaway is that women can build careers they love in manufacturing, and that the right mix of information, training, and support makes a difference, especially in the first job. This, this has made sure that I've gone a step above in creating a life for my daughter and I.